hard to believe that our parents thought that their music was cool and that this was their idea of a fun game and that you'd need all of this to take your favorite songs with you. I'm glad that this is all I need for my music and games. When I look at this picture, I see that Grandma and Grandpa were way cooler than Mom and Dad. Their music was still weird, but at least they knew that 80s music wasn't great. I used to think that older people were just slow and boring and sat around all day. I kind of felt sorry for them because they seemed so helpless. And then I met Grandma's friend, Mrs. Spraiser, and I started to wonder why I thought about them that way. She has a black belt in Taekwondo, makes over 30 kilometers every week, and she celebrated her 75th birthday by going skydiving. So why did you want to try skydiving? Oh, I just thought it was just a challenge, and I wanted a challenge. I think I've always wanted to be challenged in my life, so that was just one more thing. Man, that is amazing. So how long have you been taking Taekwondo? Well, I started in 1998, in June of 1998, so it'll be 12 years in June. And I was 67 when I started. What would you say to other people who think that older people are slow and boring? I think today older people are much more active and um, it's great. It's really important to be active and because it keeps your brain active when you're socializing and active, actively participating in classes and um, I think that's really important. That was pretty cool, don't you think? I also used to think that older people weren't very interested in doing or learning new things. Then, I learned about these seniors who've come to Canada from all over the world. And now, they come here to improve on their English. What we do is we're teaching seniors who have come from all sorts of different countries to speak English. And many of them, I, this is a very advanced class, so their level of English is really high. And we can have some really, really good discussions about all sorts of neat things. Do you like this program that you're in? Yes, very much. I started to talk in that class. I attended school for two years, but I didn't speak English at all. But that class helped me a lot. Those seniors prove that learning something new every day keeps you young. The way I used to see it, being a senior meant being retired and not having much to do. Sure, playing hockey and taking classes is fun, but they didn't really have any cool jobs, or so I thought. Grandpa's friend, Mr. Caron, didn't start his cool job until after he retired. I do this as a hobby. Uh, I've always liked uh, cars, and, and once I retired, I decided to go into restoration. You know, rather than sit around and do nothing, I, I just can't do that. So I, I want to keep occupied and there's always something to learn and it's good to keep your mind going. So what kind of people buy these cars? Uh, normally or basically it's people uh, like from 40 to 70 years old because those are cars that we had when we were young, when we were 16 to 18 to 20 years old, those are the cars of our youth, so that's typically the type of people uh, and the age group that buys these cars. If you were going to sell this car, how much would it be? A car like this right now, uh, would uh, totally restore, would bring approximately fifty-eight to $60,000. Now that's one sweet job.
Okay. I always respected older people because we're supposed to, right? But I never thought of what I, as a kid, could learn from them. When I asked Grandma this question, she sent me to meet another friend of hers, Mrs. Prendergast. Why did you start painting? Well, actually, I started on a dare. I was very interested in what other people were doing, and uh, somebody said to me, you should try it. So I went to a class just to show them I couldn't, and I was hooked the first night. I understand you also play trombone. I do. I'm learning to play. I'm a beginner. I'm in an adult learning band, and we rehearse every Saturday morning. So, if I play the trumpet, and you play the trombone, maybe we could play a duet. You know, I learned a lot from Peggy today. I learned that she can play the trombone, she can meditate, and she paints. And she started those three things after she was 60. Now that's pretty awesome. I used to think that older people didn't like kids and that they were kind of grouchy and wanted complete silence. Then, I met some seniors who go out of their way to spend a day with active kids like us. So what are you doing today at the school? Well, we're trying to give kids a chance to learn about fossils and touch them, feel them. How long have you been doing this program at schools? About 11 years ago we started doing this, showing our fossils. Right? We like doing this, we get a kick out of it, we enjoy the kids. We wouldn't do it if we didn't enjoy it. It's imparting some learning to these kids. And uh, I like to think that maybe one day one of them may become a paleontologist. That would be a real reward. If spending a day with me isn't proof enough that seniors like kids, then spending a day with all of us has to be. I was telling my grandparents that my ideas about older people were starting to change. They kind of gave each other this look. You know the one. And then Grandma said that there are some people I really should talk to. So here I am. So, Al, why do you still skate? Oh, I still skate for the exercise and the enjoyment of skating and uh, the uh, social factor. And it's still fun to skate, even if it's just plain skating around. It feels nice to the body. What about you, John? Why do you still skate? Because it's healthy and I have fun and I don't want to let go of it. And we've got Rupert to skate with. He was my very first figure skating teacher when I was 10 years old and uh, he uh, is 99 years old now. He became a Canadian champion, and when he founded the Ice Club of Greater Winnipeg, he produced wonderful carnivals every year. So we were skating in show. We were in show business as youngsters, having a great time on the ice. What do you guys say to people when they think that older people can't do very much? Well, I'd say they were wrong or mistaken. If your health allows you, and that's a big part of it, being healthy, if your health allows you, you can do just about anything you did when you were young. And uh, I can prove it because I'm 75 years old. Well, I'm convinced. Older people are cool. If we just asked, we would find out that they have a lot to offer. So don't believe those myths about older people. They are far from slow and definitely not helpless. To them, retiring means more time to spend doing other activities that they really love, like volunteering, spending more time with their family and friends, learning new things, and getting even better at what they do now. Get to know the older people in your life a little bit better. Ask your parents or your grandparents, and you'll find out, like I did, that older people are a lot more interesting than you ever imagined. <laughs>